All right, welcome back to another Blender tutorial. Today I'm going to be making a uh, a wall out of uh, well, I'm actually going to make a um, a uh, what do you call it a log wall for a survival game that I'm working on, and it's going to be used for when you're building your base or uh, house, whatever. So what you see here is a little add-on I picked up. And uh, when I do uh, remember where I found it, I'll let you know where I found it. But it's called, let's see, let me look at my tools it's called 3d view real scale reference you could probably find it if you just type it in Google so this man here 180 meters is 59 so I want a log that's gonna be a little bit taller than him so I want about eight feet of a log. Uh, let's go actually six feet. So a little bit taller than him. So let's go ahead and hit Shift A. We're going to go for a cylinder. I'm going to go in the top view, and I'm going to shrink it down about there. And I'm going to bring it up to his feet. I think we're level with his feet. Looks like it. So we hit number. Three. All right. Yeah. Number three on the notepad, or on, or um, sorry, on the number pad up here. Across it goes across your keyboard. I don't think the no the number pad on the right switches these, so you don't want that. Anyway. We're going to not extrude it. We're going to bring it up to about there. Let's see. And all right. So let's go to our Measuring out. Why is it? Why is the measuring tool not working? That's interesting. All right, so I want this to I want this to be a little bit taller than the man. So let's get out of that. Bring this up a little bit higher. So let's see where we're at on it 
dimensions here. All right, scale. Dimensions. So we want it at about six foot. So let's just put six point zero there. Okay. Now once we got that, we do not need this anymore. So now we got the size that we need. All right. Now, I need to put some loop cuts in. Probably about there is fine. Now, we all know that logs are not perfectly round. <laughs> so, let's go in here. What the heck? Weird. Let's go in here and give this kind of a push out. And Just to deform it as much as you can so it doesn't look you know too straight and all that. And I think what I'll do is bring a little make a little crooked here. And then the top, we're going to kind of bring in a little bit. And Basically, we're going to try and deform it as much as possible. So we have here. Just go around and try and deform it as much as you can so it doesn't look so, I don't know, not real, I guess the word is. So let's see, let's add one here. Go to number two. Then we're going to grab this. We're going to shrink that. Shrink that down. And then put on a Z. Just 
to really deform it. Same thing here. I'm going to shrink it on the Y. And I'm going to bring it in. See if we need anything else here. Shrink that on the Y. Bring it in like that. Okay. So let's select this and shrink this a little bit more. Like that. And I think we could grab this one, shrink that down, and press it in. So what I'm trying to do is like create knots, but in low poly, not go crazy with uh, Uh, what do you call it? Um, with uh, ver vertices. I'm trying to keep with what I have. But at the same point, trying to keep it looking good. So I'm just going around trying to push stuff around, bring it in. Like that. Okay, I think that's pretty good. All right, so let's go ahead and give it a color or a texture, rather. And all right, when everything's selected. And let's make this like a just a brown and a sign. Let's see where we're at. Color, okay, good. Everything's switched over good. Now we can go to our tools and there's an add-on called Blender Kit. And what it does is it has colors, or not colors, but uh, materials that you can use. So 
I want to go to free only. I don't want assets, I want material. And I'm going to find the wood. It's going to take a few minutes or seconds, depending. And I want to see what wood would go good with this. Now, so this uh, this uh, oh, that's nice. So this game is going to take place on a uh, on an island. That way, it's more controllable at this moment. Maybe I might do future uh, places, but right now I can control stuff better. Um, let's see what that looks like. So what you do is you click on it and it's going to load up the texture. And we don't need specularity. We don't need shine. All right, let's click on this and see what we have. Okay, I kind of like that. Let's see what else there is. Log variations. Pine bark. I'm looking for like a coconut tree. And in this game, I'm trying to make things as realistic as I can, but in a low poly uh, manner. Let's see what that does. Uh, no. Definitely not. What's this? No. So we're looking for something that looks like it might work. That's a possibility. Plain wood. <laughs> okay, camouflage bark. It's interesting. See what this one is. This one might be the candidate that I might use. Yeah, that that's not gonna work. So let's go back to let's go back to here, reload it up. And all right, that's what we're gonna use. And we're going to open this 
up here. And we're going to bring down our shader. And there's no bump. So let's see if I can create a bump. I want the best with the shaders. Do we already have? No, we don't. So what I want is bump, then I want normals, height, and then this goes into Yeah. Let's Yeah, let's just leave that alone. I don't know. Like I said, I'm not the best with that. But anyway. So to bring this back without doing that garbage. Very finicky. Come on. Oh my god. That's one thing they need to fix with this, is just make it easier to Make a window go away. All right, now I'm just back to before. All right. All right. Anyway, so let's sec select this. We're going to duplicate it and bring it over on the X. It's right there. And then we're going to change this up. We're going to bring this in. We bring that out. Uh, bring that out like that. Because really, you're not going to get a lot of the same thing, same looking. And um, let's turn that. Okay. We're going to do the same thing on the X. This time, bring this. And 
10. Can't do that. Ping that in. Okay. That's too similar to that. So I'm going to put it there. And let's duplicate one more time. X. I know this is the long way of doing this. I'm well aware of it. But I also. I also am kind of I'm going for realism in this game, in a sense. All right, let's take. And let's do this one like that. Okay, and uh, let's duplicate it, bring around the X. Good. Let's pull this one out. No. Let's turn this. Push that in. Or not. I just realized something. These then change. So it's a good thing I didn't do a array modifier because that would have looked pretty bad. So let's bring that in. And let's bring that in. Let's 
take that one out a little bit further there. Let's really bring that in like that. All right. Now we got what we're looking for. So we need to bring that light over. So we can see what the heck is going on. Yeah, that's super right. So let's turn it down to five. And where the heck is it? There we go. No, it's not going to shine. And then we want this because I want to be able to just kind of look at the shapes. All right. So there you have it. We made the wall. And the next tutorial is going to be on putting the rope around the wall. So thanks for uh, stopping in.